All right, guys, we wanted to do a uh, kind of, I guess, long-term or long-mileage review on the Cummins 6.7 and the replacement radiator we put in. We put in a Mishimoto one. It's right there. Um, we put about 7,500 miles on it. It's pretty dirty. If you look down there. Well, we're going to compare it to the stock one here and basically show all the differences and let you know our opinion overall and if we had any issues out of it so first off the very first thing we're going to take a look at is the radiator caps this one here is an 18 pound mishimoto one is a 19 pound i believe yeah 19 pound so you get an additional pound on there and what that's going to do is raise your boiling point on the coolant and everything as far as the radiator core itself, um, it is thicker and the radiator is much heavier than the stock one. So the core thickness here is about one and five eighths. About one and five eighths there. So here, it's about two inches on the Mishimoto one. So much thicker. And another thing we wanted to note was the actual end tanks here. That's all welded aluminum. Everything in there. Increased cooling capacity with it being thicker. If you look down here, where it beats out this OEM one is the OEM one has dead space. And that dead space is just plastic. The end tanks are crimped on plastic, so you'll definitely have some... Uh, areas where this radiator can fail other than actually like puncturing or something these seams can go out on the Mishimoto one here it's all welded the entire thing is welded um it's a solid radiator we had it in 130 degree temperature out in the desert and the highest temp we've seen on this engine was around 228 going up a hill towing 10k so um it did fabulous and we're going to show you some other features with it why we think this radiator is also far superior in other ways too other than just the cooling um not towing with the 180 thermostat it'll run 179 all day it's just a beast the cooling capacity is amazing on this radiator all right another upgrade to the design here is the threaded 19 millimeter drain bolt it's magnetic as you can see there it has collected some particles we do have a sinister coolant bypass kit on here as well but you see everything will be doing its job down here on the stock one it's plastic and they like to round out all the time like the round out gets stuck the o-rings like to leak they snap so huge improvement uh, over stock again so overall uh, what do we think about the radiator you know, it, sometimes in shipping, they get a little banged up. That's not Mishimoto's fault. Um, they have a lifetime warranty. They are a bit pricey, but as you can see, uh, everything survived here. It's not too bad. Everything's welded nice. We're gonna get down below, check it out, talk about it. All right, again, just nice welds all over. We did do the intercooler upgrade as well with it. So uh, that's something else we'll talk about in another video. All the OEM stuff bolts right up. We use the OEM air dam down here. Everything looks good, everything fits good. There's the drain plug or the drain port, it drips right down. It's going right into the bucket there. Everything worked out well. Everything sits well. There's no, um, no real issues. It went in smooth, just like the stock one. It is close on some of the fitment on some of the things. If we look in here, It's not super close, but it does take up a lot of that dead space that's in there from the stock radiator. And it has these welded in side plates here. 
to keep the air drawing in and the air does draw in very well when you have the Mishimoto intercooler here with this little bracket they send with it this creates like a vacuum and it draws air really really well in here so yeah overall the radiator did a fantastic job it works with stock hoses we do have the stock uh six seven hose down there just a factory one we did do the sinister metal upgrade uh we would change that in the future but we'll talk about that in another video overall is the mishimoto radiator worth the money yes absolutely uh shop around click the link in the description we might have a link for it in an amazon store it'll be a little bit cheaper and amazon's somewhat easier to work with sometimes uh if you're a prime member you know you can get discounts and stuff like that but yeah overall the radiator is fantastic uh definitely an amazing upgrade for the 6.7 thanks for watching please subscribe